All right, so <laughs> let's get down to business today. This is going to be a super real quickie, quick, quick bit, quick bit, quick, 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 fast. Blink and you'll miss quick bit because I just watched Nope and I'm not going to uplift anybody's voice in this about how good or bad the movie was. I'm only going to say a few things. One of them is, I think, Jordan Peele, he either peaked, he either peaked, he either peaked, or something's wrong and something's wrong. Something is terribly wrong. Because when I tell you guys how I felt about Nope, y'all are going to be like, what? Some people are going to be like, what? objectively without just saying yes everything's great because it's jordan peele um movie was too dark like i said and i've said countless times hollywood is making their movies too dark do not tell me to lighten up my screen because i don't have to do that for almost everything else just these stupid movies that you guys keep making stop making it so dark to where we can't see if I have to brighten my stuff up so bright that when I change the channel, it's way, way super, like, ultra-looking crazy, then we have a problem, Houston. So, second thing, Kiki Palmer, too much. That was a little bit too much. The beginning part of the movie was horrible. The beginning part of the movie was horrible, and I'm going to say this one last time. The beginning part of the movie is horrible. It's horrible. Her character is, it's hard for me to describe what her character is without being, I didn't like her character. I didn't like her character. I liked her in the second and third part, all right? But the first part was terrible, everything all around. It was hard for me to understand, main dude from get out all right but i said he's a good actor kiki palmer is a great actress this that i feel like this character should have went to someone who was masculine and you can play something you're not you can play but i would prefer if she is going to be a character who is supposed to represent... I'm not a part of the LGBT plus community, so I can't overstep my boundaries on this. Please let me know in the comments if you find it offensive or if you would prefer that an LGBT plus person play an LGBT plus character. My personal opinion about it is I don't think Kiki Palmer was right for this role. She did a very bad job in the beginning, but she is a great actress, so she did a very good job acting in the second and third parts of the movie. Hard for me to understand the dude, but I understand because it's the dialect. I didn't quite understand the beginning. There were a few things that I had to look up when the movie was over. A lot of the things that they said is the truth was very not evident. It was not evident to me. Watching it one time, it was hard for me to see a lot of it. And I I did take points off for that because that's unacceptable. Stop. Stop making things so hard to see. And maybe you'll get a higher grade or a higher score when I rate things. But nope was... Nope, I'm not going to watch that thing anymore. I'm not going to watch that thing ever again. It was a pretty bad movie. And if I'm being generous, if I'm being generous... Just like I was very generous with Wendell and Wild, honestly, I would give Nope a five. I would give Nope a five. It was really bad. I would not recommend you watch it. It seems like there was a lot of stuff left on the table or on the floor, the cutting floor, because some things didn't make sense. And people are like, oh, you're not supposed to da da da. I really do think that y'all. I'm only going to say this and I'm not going to say anything else or elaborate. Y'all are just going to have to understand. I think you guys are gassing up Jordan Peele. I'm not going to elaborate what I mean or who I'm talking to. But I think you guys are gassing up Jordan Peele. 
Um, Get Out was great. Get Out was great. Could it have been better? It could have been better. But I'm not here to rate Get Out. If you want me to rate Get Out or do a quick bit on Get Out, please let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. But I would say that that movie is a lot better than this one. If you want to watch anything from Jordan Peele, I suggest watching Get Out or Us. But nope is a nope. It's five. It's a five. And if I think about it any longer, I might give it a four. So I'm going to just leave it at that. Too dark. It was too dark. Stop doing that. Kiki Palmer didn't need to be in this movie. Um, some things didn't make sense. And some things aren't going to make sense on a 50th watch of it. Watch it 50 times. You're not going to put the pieces together. You're, you're going to eventually, you're going to obviously see certain things that were meant to be, but it just didn't work because it seemed like it was happening too fast. And then with what you can see, it's like, what? Are you serious? You make your own assumptions. I had a feeling certain things were going to happen. And I'm not going to spoil a lot right now, but people kept talking about the hat that old Jupiter, I think his name is, was wearing. And I still don't understand. I still don't understand the hat thing. I still don't understand. And I'm not watching that movie again. I don't care to. I'm just, I've given up on it. I don't re recommend this movie. And if you found something in it, that's great. The way y'all were talking about this movie and gassing it up, I thought I was going to get something great out of it. I thought some deeper meaning was going to be about it. But no, there was no really deeper meaning, especially since there was like one instance of where it was like, oh, callback message. Like it wasn't even set in stone. It wasn't concrete. It was just surface level stuff. For all that time I sat in the dark, you could have had more things to say. Jordan Peele is what I'm saying. And I understand the position Jordan Peele is in. Because while we've got Spike Lee and Tyler Perry, who are two people who I could say certain things about in certain ways. Like, I literally didn't say a black woman either, did I? I didn't say a black woman in any of my examples. We can think of a ton of white women and a ton of white men who are in the scene, who are making waves, making movies. Jordan Peele is being looked at a lot harsher. He can either be great or horrible solely because there aren't that many prominent, well-known by everyone, directors, executive producers who are making it out like these men are. These three men that I just like, please let me know in the comments if you can think of more black people. I would hope that there's black women who are doing certain things. Um, here's an example. The woman who made the new Candyman. I haven't watched it yet, but I accidentally got a spoiler that made me feel more compelled to watch it. But I don't know. We'll see. I got to find it for free because I'm not spending any amount of money on that crap. Like, I'm not. And if you want to know my opinion about Candyman, the original, the first movie, the very first movie that they made, um, link is in the description of this video. I won't be talking much about it here. But I have some gripes. I have some gripes about Candyman. But I digress back to what I was talking about. Jordan Peele uh, does not have to be looked at as horrible or brilliant. I think we're on that we're on that spectrum right now. We're on that timeline because he is one of few, and since the few we have, one of them specifically is anti-black and always makes the worst depictions of black people, Tyler Perry. I personally don't think people don't like Spike Lee, but there are a lot of, a lot of <sighs> decisions he made that were questionable. I don't know enough about Spike Lee to criticize him in this video, but... 
like I said, barely any black men, barely any less than two black women that I can think of who are doing it like them, and they still don't have notoriety for their work. However, all these white men, even from old black and white days, are literally still being held in high regards when there are other people doing the work and doing it consistently. The problem I have with Jordan Peele right now in this moment is inconsistency. He's not consistent. Maybe he thinks he's doing something great. Maybe he's doing something brilliant. Maybe I'm in the minority here, but I just did not think that Nope was on the scale on the same level as even us. And us, to me, despite it being predictable, I liked the cinematography. I liked the acting. I liked the family dynamic. I liked the dark skin. But I personally liked Get Out better, even the cinematography with it Unfortunately, there are things I can talk about, but I'm not really going to talk about that here because this is about nope, not us or get out. But between those three things, and I'm not adding Candyman to this because despite being whatever he was on that movie, it was a black woman who was behind that movie. He wrote the story and she was the director. Her name is Nia De Costa or Nia De Costa. So, so yeah. Nope was terrible. It's like a 4 out of 10. It's terrible. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. The fact that so many black people like gassed up this movie to make it seem like there was something deeper than what was really there, which I saw and it was easy to see. It wasn't anything hidden. Was just like, oh my gosh, can we please stop? Like I said, this is how we get Tyler Perry. You keep uplifting things solely, solely, solely because it's black. And then you, it's one thing to just be decent. It's one thing to be decent because there's a lot of white people getting by on decency and mediocrity. But we're teetering, we're teetering, we're teetering. Nope was teetering. The fact that so many people were trying to say that it was good and y'all, I literally listened to y'all and y'all were talking like it was the best thing since sliced bread. And then y'all gassed up Kiki Palmer's character. I was very disappointed. I was disappointed and yeah, disappointed. That's all I can say about Nope. Oh, and also Nope stands for not of planet Earth. And I think that's really cool. So that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. And with that, I am so done. If you want to know my opinion about Wendell and Wilde, Link is in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this really, really quick, quick bit. I don't recommend Nope. If you want to watch it, that's fine. It's on Peacock right now. Peacock is only going to be free for a certain amount of time because they're getting good. And more people are on Peacock now, so they're going to start charging probably, I think, really soon. So watch it for free as long as you can because I don't recommend you spending any money, amount of money on this. Like, You can do that. You can support Jordan Peele if you want to. But this is what happens if we keep accepting the things that Jordan Peele keeps putting out without any critique, any structure. We're going to have another Tyler Perry on our hands where he just puts out nothing but nonsense, nonsensical nonsense. And it may not be as anti-black as Tyler Perry promotes, he promotes anti-blackness, yes. It'll still be a bad product. We need to watch it. We need to watch it real close because he can still be good. He doesn't have to be banished to the nether realms, all right? I just think he needs to get better. And just saying everything's great and sucking it and sucking it like inside ourselves is definitely not how we're going to get banger hits in 20 years, 40 years from now, looking back and saying, oh my goodness, that was great. Like, absolutely not. Nope.